everyone, this is Buddy back with another video and we're looking at Marquez Brownlee's latest iPhone 12 look through or first impressions as well as his first impressions on the new iPad Air 2020. I don't have these devices in hand nor do I have the resources to buy them and Marquez is lucky enough to be on Apple's super special PR list to be sent these devices early. So let's take a look at what his thoughts are and kind of go over maybe what my thoughts are with that. So his iPhone 12 video is actually pretty good. I think the first impressions is good. I think he hits on a lot of the great points with the design being pretty nice, even though lots of people put cases on them. But hey, people out here are, are putting cases on every phone, so I guess I shouldn't look too much into that. But I think it looks nice. It also happens to stand up on its own. He goes into the environmental impacts of not having the brick or the headphones in the boxes anymore and how that kind of idea worked out. and. Apple's defense of it is it's, it's an environmental benefit, meaning they won't have to ship all these, these chargers and materials that are just going to end up in landfills anyway because people already own charging bricks. Fair? I agree with them on a lot of the points, and especially on the not having the USB Type-C on the bottom, even though it is in there with the iPhone, or the iPads that is. And then the biggest thing I think that he didn't hit is how that red iPhone doesn't look red at all. And I also don't, I feel like this isn't really red. Like Apple's actually notorious for always changing up colors. And this is the least red product red I've seen so far. From every angle, it looks much more peach, like, like red, orange, or coral. But yeah, now you know. It doesn't look red at all. That product red is not that good looking. And I really thought he would be more of like flabbergasted or outright say Apple didn't really hit the mark on how red this is or something of like a disappointment in the red color. But he kind of was just like, but yeah, now you know. Really? That's all you're going to give? I feel like he was just too emotionally muted on the things that he could have had a bad look to. Then he comes to the MagSafe review or kind of thing. Basically where he mentions that the MagSafe connections aren't really that strong. My take on MagSafe is it's, it's kind of cool, but not quite as cool as I was hoping, mainly because of the strength of the magnets. It's, it's a little loose. That the wallet isn't that good at all either. Look at this. This is the, the wallet mount, which you'd really want to stay attached. But even with this wallet case, putting it in my pocket, it can easily just pop right off just slide right off and that's your wallet. That's like the one thing you definitely want to for sure stick to the phone the strongest, right? So we'll see, we'll see what this ecosystem brings. But he really doesn't re put his full emphasis on that. He kind of lets the, the audience subtly know that the MagSafe charging and design-ish isn't the best. So we'll see, we'll see what this ecosystem brings. I, I think he could have hit more on how, how much of a disappointment he thinks that stuff is, but that would get him kicked off the PR list. So can't be that critical of it, especially when he hasn't fully tried it out yet. I mean, I guess he has to fully try it out, you know, to give his full honest opinion about it. But he also spent five minutes talking just about the MagSafe, which is a lot of time. That's half the video dedicated to one feature of the iPhone 12 unboxing and first impression. I think his videos are just kind of getting a little bit longer, more fluffy, not as much stuff in it. Like it just, it just seems like he's favoring the algorithm more of more watch time, longer videos, more money, more promotion. So, I mean, he's playing the game right. It's just kind of sad to see, especially with, I'll get into that at another time. Let's go on to the iPad Air review. Details, some of the new things with the iPad Air. So the boxy design, the fingerprint scanner instead of face ID, the lack of cameras, the lack of 120 Hertz from the Pro, but otherwise pretty similar to the iPad Pro, right? So he's like, oh, this thing's probably way better. Well, he definitely forgot about the storage options on the iPad Air compared to the Pro. That $599, and it gets pretty much everything most people care about from the iPad Pro. The storage starts at 64 on the Air compared to 128 on the Pro. That means that you definitely like want to upgrade the storage on your iPad to the next level, which costs $150 on the Air. So now you're only $50 away from the Pro. And my take is, is if you don't upgrade the storage on the Air that you buy this year, 
another year you'll realize that you are you completely run out of storage on that thing and you need to go with the pro because you need to upgrade the storage on the air it gets you too close to the pros price you might as well buy the pro have the pro the pro everyone cares about the pro on apple if you can have the iphone pro the ipad pro the macbook pro anything you can have pro people want so i don't understand why consumers won't just be pushed further to buying that ipad pro compared to the air just because the ipad air starts at that such low storage option even though everything else probably makes sense that Marquez mentioned, except for maybe the face ID. But in this world of masks that we live in, a uh, fingerprint reader is just as convenient as face ID, sometimes more so. Although with an iPad, you use it at home a lot where you're not really out and wearing a mask as much, so maybe the, the fingerprint reader is just at the same level as face ID. I think people love to go from using their iPhone with face ID to using their iPad with face ID. They don't want to change and be like, oh shoot, I need a password? Oh yeah, yeah, the fingerprint. I don't think people will really think about that when they go to the, iP the iPad Pro or the iPad Air, whatever. You know what I mean. So I think you kind of neglected on that, but let me know what you guys think. If you guys are still watching, make sure you're subscribed for our future videos. Hit that big red subscribe button down below. And thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.